Hello everyone, welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is All the Powers episode 6. So, from between last episode and this episode, I went and I farmed a little bit of karma. So, um, we can, so I can get the thorn injection on screen and show you the God of Thunder and the powers. So, what I will be doing for the majority of this video is I will be, first of all, picking up that hammer and getting the powers and going through all of these showing off the powers the different abilities and then ordering them in what from what I think is worst to the best powers so right before I get into it let me just kill the skeleton there we go and yeah so as you can see here I have 245 karma now the way I got that was I went into the nether and I just killed a bunch of pigmen and yeah, really simple stuff. So now if I go here and I right click, I just got whosoever holds this hammer, if you be worthy, has the power of Thor or whatever it says there. And I got the God of Hammer Injection, which is find me shown there and let it give you powers. Now if you don't know how to do this already, shift right click binds it to you. Shift, right click. A lot of people ask me, so I decide to say that, even though I've said it in, I think, my most recent thought tutorial. Shift, left click, throw it. So, I will be going through first through these, and then I'll go through each of these one by one, and I'll rate them in what I think is most powerful to least. So, those powers, you have shift, left click to throw it, Shift right click to bind it, which means if I drop it, I click X and it comes to my hand. Strength is plus 11. So I might actually write that down um, on a different monitor. There we go. Alright. So plus 11. And then there's the resistance, jump boost, full resistance, and more health. Which health is plus 20, which means if I eat this, I get two full bars worth of it. So, as you can see, it will go there. Now, as you can see, I need a Thor weapon in my hand. But, I can now click X and chuck lightning. And also click C and strike lightning like thunder. And, let me put out the fire. And those are the two attacks that Thor can do. Now, what you can also do is in God Mode, and increases your increases your strength. Um, but what essentially what this does is once you unlock this, you don't need the hammer. So I'm going to quickly instead of time lapsing this because I've shown in my last videos. If you want to see proper time lapse, I'm just going to cut and grab the XP all the way to full, and I'll show you how to do it. Um, how you use the God Mode. So let's go. Also. Um, I forgot to add, but this also does a lot of damage, so if I hit something, let's just say I'll hit this donkey without it, it does 6 hearts, and if I hit this donkey with the hammer, this donkey has more hearts, but as you can see it does, however many that is you can pause to count, I can't be bothered, but yeah, so this also does quite a lot more damage, and yes, this attack kind of has an auto aim, as you can see where the middle is, it does it differently, so I'm currently nearly at level 4 out of 5, and I forgot to mention how to fly. Fly is you hold right click and you just jump. And then you can also just click right click while you're in the air and you don't have to touch the mouse and you'll just keep going. So I will be back in a minute. Alright, I got level 5. Um, if you're wondering what I'm doing up here, just flying up. Because, well, it won't show anymore, but flying shows you gives you quite a lot of XP really quickly so flying up and just doing that so I just click I clicked X and I got the uh, I should have gotten the achievement but since I already had Black Adam I didn't get it it was this one God of Thunder activates your God mode but Shazam and Black Adam already have that just by doing the normal thing if you remember from not the last episode but the one before that so if I Get rid of whoa, that's a lot of mobs. <laughs> fight, fight. Um, 
Um, I should probably put a torch there or something. And do I have any sticks? Yeah, I do. Alright. Um, but yeah, so that's those powers. And now, as you can see, I don't have the hammer. So if I just put the hammer in there, I still have these powers, which is like him in Ragnarok, he didn't need his hammer. Also, I can summon this from the chest, which is quite cool. I'm going to quickly go to sleep, and after that, let's get on to the next person's power. Alright, I'm back up, and let me uninject myself. Chuck that in there, and then I'm going to chuck this stuff in here. And I have 75, so if I search sword, actually, why not get a diamond sword? So I need to grab out one, two, and a stick because the diamond sword will do quite a lot more damage. Learn that. And there we go, I now have done sword. So, I'll put this down here. So far, I think this is more quite powerful, so I'm going to put this up here. Next is Speed Force. So, if I inject myself with the Speed Force, as you can see, nothing's happened so far. But, I have the Super Speed, and then a lot of stuff that you need the Super Speed ability for. So, this is like the, um, the Speed Force powers just... The ones that you actually get from the uh, Speed to the Heroes mod. So if I click, I also have this for some reason. The Speed Force. It's strange, actually. Why I have the Lightning Attack. Um, and I'm somehow at level 2 already. But if I click X, I can now actually sprint really quickly. But as you can see, there's no toggle like how much on the right side. Like there is for the Speed to the Heroes. And... Portal, uh, I need the ability, and then I also have step assist, which means, oops, I need that. Step assist, which means I can just run over without having to jump. So I could just go up hills really easily. And portal, which means I can write where I want to open to. So if I wanted to, I could make a portal all the way back here. Dimension 0, X12, Y12, actually Dimension 1, I think that's the overworld. Um, and let's do Y70, 72. Nope, never mind, 1 is the end. And then just clicking it closes it, and yeah. So it must be 0, the overworld then. But yeah, that's these powers. So these powers, I would say... Also, let me uh, eat and see. I don't think there's more than just one bar. Yep, there's not more than just one bar. So, if I take these powers off these powers, I would put them as less power from the God of Thunder. Next, let me see. Let's do negative speed force and then synthetic to see if there are any differences. So, this is the negative speed force. I inject myself. It's the exact same. Also, the punch damage for both of these is just 6. Actually, this is not the same. Look, there's kinetic and ninja absorption. That's actually better. So, if I click X, speed, C, portal, B is the same lightning attack. But now I can also click V. I said V. And that's like Black Panthers. So, if I get hit by mobs somewhere, um, and then it would like a bit like black panther absorb it and i can click that and expel it so i think that would currently be better than the um wow sprinting is so slow once you get used to that um better than the speed force all right let's grab the synthetic one and check now so um that's a missing texture so far this looks the exact same as the negative so if I were to put this on, yep, it's the exact same, and the sprint speed here is 12. I can check the others, but I think they'd be pretty similar. I think they'd actually all be the same. So I'm going to say this is worse than the negative, because the negative has a texture. 
Next is the Joker Toxin. So if I inject this, again, missing texture. Toggle power. So it's just healing, health, and punch damage, which is not a lot of punch damage. If I click X, what does that do? That just makes me look like a naked Joker. That is fun. Do I have any armor whatsoever? Because that is terrifying. Alright. Yeah, that's still... So if I click X, oh, it just switches instantly. There's no cool animation. All right, my head gets a lot smaller. But yeah, so that's the Joker. So far, pretty useless power in my opinion. So all the way down here. Next, X Men Flight. So this sounds like what it is. It's legit just flight. It's just like mutant ability of flight. But there's nothing else. There's no like. Um, there's, there's no like, uh, what, what's it called? Um, any healing factor or strength or anything, more health, nothing. And, uh, this is, this is normal speed, this is sprint speed, so it's not as quick as like Captain Marvel, Superman. But yeah, I'd say this is more useless than Speed Force, even though it's flight, but I'd still say. It. And finally, not finally, second finally, Yellow Lantern. So this has a bunch of stuff that's locked, which means I need to have the other lantern. So if I click X, um, I look yellow. Hmm. I look like how well that's who yellow lantern is. Yellow Hal Jordan. Hmm. Now I can fly, which is cool. I can also do those and. I can, in a sec, let me put out the fire, and shoot these beams, so I have different types of beams. And there's also water breathing, tough lungs, healing, fire resistance, fall, and punch damage. So I would say this is probably better than Speed Force, but this just seems like an off version of Captain Marvel's powers. So if I put this here, I'll move everything along, put no, Black Adam put the Yellow Lantern there, and take Black Adam for myself to check this one. Now, I'd already decided probably after I tried the God of Thunder, but in my opinion, Black Adam is the best one here. The only downside is you have to toggle your power on and off. But first of all, the punch damage is 16 vs 11, though the punch damage with Thor's hand seems like it does more damage. Um, no clue, but the healing is really quick, and there's a lot of health. You can do both the lightning strikes that Thor can do without having to have the thing. You can do sprint speed, and you can fly without um, the hammer. So I can do this, and I can do the fast flying. And the hood ability actually does not work. Um, I think the creator of the mod tried to make something like the kinetic and because the mods obviously not finished and probably will never will be but speed normal speed oh yeah and the lightning and actually there's no lightning strike um well this is lightning strike I guess the other one is just the achievement that you get and then there's jump boost oops I accidentally fly flew flied I know but there's jump boost and yeah overall this ability quite a lot better so I'm actually gonna keep this one in and yeah okay so the next thing I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start making a clearing out a large area of land probably over here and I'm gonna start making a huge hall where I can display all of this, the abilities, like all of these injections and things I get. So, if I um, actually uh, right here at Project E and go to this shovel, as you can see, this is a pretty good shovel, which is made with dark matter. So, I could either work on trying to get this fuel which I probably could and try and work up to a dark matter or I could make an energy collector which I'm probably gonna actually do instead so um 
Do I have glowstone? Yes, I do. What else did I need? A furnace. And... I need to collect my coin. Furnace and glass. Uh -huh, I can grab glass from here. Damn it. Uh, Alright. And diamond... Oh, I'm one diamond short. Alright, I'm going to... There we go. Wait, what? Why, what happened to the extra diamond that I had? That's weird. Alright. And... One, two, three, four, five, six, I think. I need... I'll just learn this for the sake of it. And block uh, my game just froze for a sec there and learn that and now energy collector mark one so what this does is this will start collecting energy and if I place a block of coal so this collects energy from the sun if I place a block of coal in here it will start turning the coal into different things and eventually just, yeah, it will just turn coal into different things. So, um, the sun's going down, so I'm going to go sleep, so it will actually work. And then, uh, the next thing I'm going to work on getting is the anti- and anti-matter relay mark one. The power of the sun. Oh, I must have just gotten that. Probably, I'm not sure. Um, if I go back here... Um, I guess we'll actually, if I grab this one and just learn it, there we go, and let me, you know, I'm going to be, I'm just going to grab a few blocks of coal, not, not, nothing that will be hard to get, oh, you see this, so that, grab, I think that was from full bar, I actually, I've, I've not clear, ignore what I said. I'm going to work on getting the anti-matter um, relay mark one. So I need Actually, wait, 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 I'm being dumb. I need the energy condenser, that's what I needed. The, yeah, the alchemical ch I don't even know what I just did, actually. I'm sorry. Um. What's the relay? I'm, I've confused myself. I haven't played this mod in a while. Let me, let me grab this and put that in there. I have no clue, genuinely, what that was. I've completely forgotten what that is. But as you can see, that turns that into glowstone. And um, it will keep doing that and turning it into different things. Because um, if I do that, so it will turn this into that. And it will just keep going until, like, so for example. Um... Well, we start with block coal, so coal will turn to glowstone, glowstone into Mobius fuel, Mobius fuel into alchemical coal, chemical coal into eternalist fuel, eternalist into Mobius fuel block, Mobius fuel block into eternalist fuel block. And with that, I'll be close to getting dark matter. So if I click on that, you just need a bunch of eternalist fuel surrounded by a diamond block. Um. I'm going to try create the alchemical chest. So for this, I need um, a chest iron. Uh, iron. I don't have an extra chest somewhere, do I? Stone. What else was it? Um, diamonds. Sorry, iron stone. A diamond and oak chest. diamond chest and then this stuff 
So I just need cobblestone and char charcoal. Do I need charcoal specifically or can I use any type of coal? Okay, I guess I need charcoal specifically, so I can turn no oh damn it. I'll be back once I get the ingredients. Okay, I've got all the ingredients, so it's simple to make that is for that, that for that, and that for that. And if I do this, boom. So now what I actually meant to do is if I get rid of the anti-matter relay mark one, which I've completely forgotten what that's for, I need to turn the alchemical chest into the energy condenser. So if I grab the alchemical chest and place, where's my obsidian? Grab obsidian, grab two, three, four. I can chuck that in there. And now if I create the energy condenser, finally, um, so close to the to my goal. There we go. Finally, what this does is I'll just do it with um just iron for now. It takes energy from this and it starts creating that. And I can also chuck in things like cobblestone, chuck in, and it'll use the cobblestone to create iron ingots. So the more of the energy collectors and the higher level they are, the um, more iron I can get. But yeah, so that's that. And also, um, I don't know if you noticed, but I got some draconium dust. Um, while well, mining in the nether, like while well, getting, while well, farming for, for, um, karma in the nether. But, yeah, um, so that's that. I will be, in between episodes, I'm going to work on getting more of these. And, um, yeah, I'll just build them all around this here. And, actually, what I might do is I'll wait for that to finish. I'll grab a diamond. I'll grab a diamond from here. And this will be, as you can see, EMC. It's a big difference. But what I'm going to do is put that diamond there. No, I said put the diamond there. And as you can see, the EMC is very close to finishing white. Oh, shit. Okay. The diamond is there. The EMC is close to finishing. The diamond needs 192, so if I shift click that in, it should be close. I'm going to learn that, burn that, grab another energy condenser, and place it next to. So now, as you can see, infinite diamonds. So what I'm going to do between episodes is I'm going to AFK a lot here, work more on this. Um, I will, I won't be able to get that far there, but I'll try and get as much fuel as I can. And as you can see, this turns into Mobius fuel, so this will just keep going, and I'll have maybe quite a few of these just built up. And also, what I'm going to start, and I'm just going to do that, and yeah, in the next episode. Um, hopefully I'll have enough to make a shovel and start clearing out land here to make a hall. Um, the hall of superpowers. So, yep, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.